The Slayton sisters are back! Oh my god, I'm so happy. I'm so excited. I feel like it's been forever since we last saw them on our TV screens, but they are back. Holy moly, I did not expect to be crying so much in this episode. I was bawling like a little baby, especially during those scenes of Tammy and Caleb. Oof. Heartbreaking. Heartbreaking. Okay, so let's get into the episode. We're obsessed with TLC and all the trashy reality TV. It's It's a a recap. recap. It's a recap. It's a recap. Tammy lost over 350 pounds. Unbelievable. Do you guys remember season one, season two, season three? No one believed she could do it. Just because she was so destructive and so stubborn. And let's just be honest, she was kind of a miserable person. No, what's real is you keep running your Shut the from once. Come on. Every time I'm with the one. you kept interrupting. You're going to shut up. You're going to have to come in because we ain't going home tonight. Face. I'm not in your face. I'm Leave just standing here talking. Leave me alone. I never really? said I wasn't going to talk to a therapy. I never said that. So what kinds of stuff are you eating? And everyone thought she was just stuck in her ways and she was never going to change. But look at her now. Oh. Watching her was such a huge inspiration for me. I feel like there were a lot of things I could relate to. Um, For example, her weight struggles, her insecurities, her struggles with food and feeling like she had an addiction to food. Those are all things that I struggled with as well and still sometimes struggle with to this day. And to see that she did it, I'm like, you know what? If she could do it, I could do it because she was stubborn, stubborn and so negative. And so, yeah, it just kind of gave me a little hope that I could do it too. So anyway, Tammy was finally allowed to leave rehab, but unfortunately her husband Caleb was not. And their goodbye was super sad. I felt like I was watching a Nicholas Sparks movie. I got approved to go home because I got my trach removed. Today, Caleb has an appointment to find out if he can get his trach removed and come home with me. So? They're not going to approve me to go home. The doctor doesn't think I'm ready to get the trach out yet. Caleb promised Tammy he'd work really hard to get out of there so that he could join her and they could start their life together. He told her he didn't want to hold her back and that she worked so hard and she should go live her life. I don't want to hold you back. And I feel like I've let you down. You haven't, not at all. And I want you to know I would never in a million years ask you to stay. I want to go. I bawled like a little baby. I really did. It was so sad. And I remember most of us were very skeptical of their relationship and them getting married super quickly, but it was so clear in this episode that they truly loved and cared for each other. Meeting you was the best thing that ever happened in my life. I want to go with you so bad, but... I don't want to be a burden. You're not a burden. You gotta get that out of your head. I'm gonna be there. Now, Chris and his wife, they drive to the rehab center to pick up Tammy, and he is absolutely amazed by her progress. When he dropped her off, she was 717 pounds. She was about to die. Do you guys remember that? She could barely stand up. She could barely breathe. But now she's standing all on her own and she's even walking. When they did flashbacks of her being dropped off at rehab, I could not believe how big she was. Holy moly. She was huge. I totally don't remember her being that big. I must have forgotten because we've seen Tammy's progress online and through social media all through the year. So I guess I just forgot what she used to look like. Tammy, I'm so proud of you for what you have accomplished. You look great. You know, you look absolutely amazing. Chris is like, mouth open, reaction, like, my sister did (laughs) that. Everyone in the rehab center, they gathered around to watch Tammy walk out, and they clapped for her, and she thanked everyone in a very tearful goodbye. This was super bittersweet. Like, I was so happy that Tammy was able to get out of there, but also super sad to see everybody else 
who was still in there. So hopefully they can look at Tammy as inspiration and also get themselves out of that place. She gives Caleb a goodbye kiss and she walks out of there like a boss. That was a huge win for her just to be able to stand up and walk out of there. My God. And then she had another win when she fit into the backseat of the car. Whew, remember Tammy before? She had to be in that trunk. But she fit in the car seat this time. And then they get home and the whole family's there to celebrate. And it gets a little chaotic because of the babies. They are crying. They are screaming. Tammy's feeling pretty overwhelmed with all of the commotion. So there's a scene where Tammy tells everybody that she got her trach out and she was like, look at this. There's a dent in my throat where, you know, the trach used to be and they're all creeped out by it. And Tammy gets Amanda to feel the dent in her throat. And Amanda's like, ew, but she tries to touch it. Then Tammy tells Amy to touch it and Amy's not interested. So then Tammy goes, oh, come on, Amy, you won't even look at it. And then Amanda says her good eye was looking at Chris and they all burst into laughter. You won't even look at it. <laughs> the good I was looking at Chris. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you guys aren't familiar with them, that's just kind of how they uh, talk to each other. They roast each other. They're very sarcastic. And they make fun of each other. And right after Amanda made that comment and everyone was laughing, Amy got up and left. She was very upset. And then in her confessional, she shares that her eye is her biggest insecurity. And it's something that she can't change, she can't fix, and she's never going to feel beautiful because of it. And I felt so, so, so bad. I could never change my eyes. I could never be beautiful. After Amy walked away, Amanda was like, oh, I didn't mean to hurt her feelings. I thought we were all joking like we always do. And I kind of understood where Amanda was coming from because as a viewer, that's all we saw. They were always joking and roasting each other. But this is where I feel like Amanda went wrong. So she goes after Amy, but I thought she was going to apologize, but instead she was very aggressive. She was very hostile. You said you know that I was just kidding. I've been making fun of you. I'm done. She should have just apologized. Ultimately, whether she was joking or didn't mean to hurt her, it did hurt her. She was crying. She was upset. So I feel like the appropriate response would have been, I did not mean to hurt you. I thought we were joking, but I see that you are hurt and I am sorry and I will not do that again. That would have been the best answer, but she didn't. Mm -mm. She got really mad. Well, sorry, I f***ed that up. It's okay for everybody to poke fun at me and make fun of me and say, we were all sitting around the table joking, Amy. I just don't understand where Amanda's anger came from. So in the preview for the rest of the season, Amy is struggling. She's a mom of two babies, right? They're both like one and two years old or one and three. I'm, I don't remember, but they're very close in age. They're very young. I can't even imagine how hard that is to take care of two babies. Plus you have a useless husband who doesn't help you at all. He's pretty much a third child. So it seems like we're gonna watch their marriage fall apart on TV. So yeah, can't wait. <laughs> well, that's it for the recap. Let me know all your thoughts in the comments and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.